What's going on guys? Golden State Fishing here. All right, another great video for you guys today. Back up in the Eastern Sierra, but this time farther north. Uh, we're up uh, by a lake by Tahoe. It's called Capels Lake. Awesome lake. First time I've ever been there. Beautiful lake, that's for sure. Probably one of the most beautiful lakes in the Eastern Sierra. No joke. Uh, definitely a big lake. Uh, it was pretty cool because we had our kayaks up there. It was really cool to explore the whole thing. Uh, we're going up there for the Browns and the Mackinaws, but uh, fortunately we didn't get on too many of those. Uh, they're definitely being a stubborn bite. Uh, all the locals said it's been really slow up there, but we know we gave it hell. Uh, still did really well though. Caught a lot of fish. You guys will enjoy this video for sure. I actually catch a big one, a big rainbow in it. So definitely check out the whole video and then uh, come on back here and we'll go over some stuff about the lake. Hell yeah, dude. Nice. Yeah, look, they look like it. Oh no, get him! Let's go. Little rainbow. Start the trip. Why not? Let's let him go. Kill me. Another one, two shrimp. Mike's on fire. go they're coming in Rob's on two doubles that's a better one
goes wrong, we're fine. That's a better. over there on again too oh there you go yeah for sure there. that's on over there too that's the net one this is a good one Oh, that's a good one. Oh, what the hell? Can I skip to the side? Yeah. That was weird. Oh, where are you going, boy? No? That's nice. That's a better one. Yeah. You got tangled up there first. Uh, I heard him pulling drag. <laughs> yeah. Root beer.
Man, he is super spotted. <laughs> he looks tight. Wow, I've never seen a trout that spotted before in my life. Like a cheetah. Yeah? Woo I'm coming. Mac. All right. Mark. On a Mackinac. There you go. Get him. Yeah. Mackinac in the boat. I knew it was gonna happen. Uh, ghost shrimp. <laughs> I thought that was gonna happen yesterday with us throwing, kept throwing the small stuff. Yeah. Calm down, calm down. <laughs> See what we got. Nice. There you go. Mackinac. Look at that thing, guys. Choked it. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. He might have been way down there, but now he's coming in. Oh, no, it's a Mackinac. Oh, it's a good one. Mackinac? Yeah, or a big rainbow. Whatever it is, it's big, dude. It looks at least five. Shit. Oh, it's a Mackinac. Dude. Oh, come on now. No, it's a big ass rainbow. <laughs> like a freaking six pound rainbow. <laughs> Rainbow. Look at that, guys. Good one. Oh, yeah. On the drop. Look at that, Mike. Rob, got one of them with a bobber. Spartan minnow and the bobber. <laughs> yeah, so that I'm going to drop. There you go. Doubles. <laughs> oh, Mark lost his. Oh. Yep. Yep. Let it sink. 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 <laughs>
PB and J. Butter and jelly. Peanut butter and jelly time. Peanut butter and jelly. Goldfish. Nice looking one. That was nice looking. He's natural. Oh man. He's got the tail, all the all the fins. They're all sharp, you know what I mean? Did you get a picture of it? Yeah, I got him a good video close up. He was right at the edge of that log. All right, I know you guys enjoyed that video. Definitely a beautiful uh, spot if you guys saw that. I definitely recommend taking up uh, your family, friends, fishing buddies, whatever up there. Check out Capels Lake Resort. Family operated business. Uh, they are really, really, really nice family and they definitely take care of you. Really cool thing is you're right there on the water. We had a two story uh, cabin that was literally 30 feet from the water. So it was really cool because we could bring our kayaks and park them right there, have lunch, go back out and fish some, come back in, you have to use the restroom, whatever we had to do. It was very definitely convenient. Uh, definitely have a nice restaurant right there. I think the restaurant's only open Wednesday to Sunday, but definitely some like four star, uh, really nice, uh, really good food, that's for sure. So definitely check out them. Uh, you will definitely uh, love it up there. Definitely re recommend taking the kids. There's a lot of stuff to do in the area. They have a lot of rental stuff you can uh, you can rent there from them too. They have boats and all the, all the good toys to rent out. But uh, yeah, so definitely check them out. Uh, you guys saw, like I said in the video, we were going after those Mackinac and the Browns. They did not work out. <laughs> we tried. We gave it hell. You guys saw uh, for three days up there, um, like yeah, I said, all the locals even that, that live in the area, they were trolling, they said, for the last two weeks. And they're actually coming up empty almost every day. So the fish just didn't want to cooperate. It happens. There was a full moon. Uh, other circumstances come into it. And sometimes they just don't want to bite. We sized down our baits and went after the rainbow trout basically after that and caught a few hundred of them. So definitely did really good. You guys saw I caught the big one. Uh, Mark did catch a nice brown trout on one of our super tubes and uh, also caught a Mackinac. So we, uh, he did get, we did get one of each, at least between all of us, but uh, definitely killed it on the rainbows, that's for sure. But uh, like I said, it's a beautiful lake. I will definitely be back up there to try it again. Uh, not too much farther. It's about... If you guys know where Gardnerville uh, is in Nevada, it's about 45 minutes, 50 minutes from there. Uh, definitely, Gardnerville is a definitely awesome little town to come back down when you're on the way down. We stopped for breakfast before we headed all the way home. Uh, that's actually where I want to move to is Gardnerville. So, yeah, every time I go up there, I fall in love with it up in that area. And I will definitely be moving up there, hopefully, within the next few years here. We'll see how everything goes, but that is definitely the goal. But, uh, yeah, uh, make sure you guys check out the website. I'll put the QR code right here. Get on some of those baits. The Spartan minnows and the mini jigs you, got, you saw was killing it up there. Um, I mean, we did so well. Uh, I mean, uh, let's see, Rob, Rob was killing on the Spartan minnows, and I was killing it on the on the, the mini jigs you guys saw. Bunch of different colors, especially the natural colors were working really well. Make sure you guys get yourself a nice variety. I always tell everybody that just because something was working great then doesn't mean it's going to work next time. So always get a variety of colors and uh, figure out what they want. Definitely, and then also on the website, make sure you guys check out. Our Sinister Strand uh, Braid, uh, definitely awesome braid. If you guys ever tried braid before, believe me, try this one. You will love it. It is top notch. Made in Japan. Stuff is awesome. Uh, let's see. And then also, um, let's see. Check out some of our sponsors. Make sure you check out Waterland Sunglasses. You guys get yourself a good pair of polarized sunglasses so you can see those fish. Uh, use code GSF at checkout. That will save you 15%. So definitely check out Waterland. Check out Corker's Boots. Awesome boots. You guys see me always using the boots. Um, they're the best boots I've ever used for wading. 
definitely. They have the new chrome lights. That's what you guys see me using on the kayak. Extremely light, a lighter pair of boots for like summer and for, you know, when you're not, you're not doing too, anything too crazy. They're definitely awesome boots. They have the heavy duty ones too that I have too for like going through rocks and rivers and stuff like that. But uh, those chrome lights are really awesome. They weigh like absolutely nothing. I think it's only a couple ounces per, per boot. So it's definitely comfortable all day. It feels like you're wearing basically nothing on your feet. Uh, so definitely check them out. Uh, check out Drift. Uh, if you guys saw the waders that I wear now a lot of time, especially on the kayak, the, just the pants ones, even when you don't always need the tall ones, Drift makes those definitely really comfortable. It's nice not to have to have the whole overall ones on all day if you don't need, need them. They do make those too. And let me tell you about their quality. Uh, we all know the big brands and, and waders, you know what I mean? And I think Drift is right there with them and they have way more competitive pricing. So definitely check out Drift. Uh, you guys will definitely love their waders for sure. Um, and then let's see what else we got going on. Oh yeah, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Do not miss out on all the stuff coming out. Uh, gonna be heading up to the Eastern Sierra for 10 days uh, with my girl and our baby. Uh, probably not gonna bring, we're not gonna be bringing the kayak this time. I'm gonna be doing a lot of shore fishing, so I'll give you guys some of that shore action for sure. Um, gonna be jumping around to a lot of the lakes up there. A lot of lakes get pretty stocked uh, pretty well for a 4th of July weekend. Uh, actually, 4th of July is in like, what, five or six days right now. Today's the 30th. So, yeah, it's it's going to be a great uh, 10 days up there. Then I'm going to be coming back for about a week. Then I'm going to be heading back up there with Rob um, for a couple days. We're going to take our bikes and go to some, uh, some backcountry lakes that are a little bit more difficult to get to using our e-bikes. So, definitely stay tuned for all those videos. And then in August, me and him have a big trip headed out of state with the kayaks, driving far, going to somewhere really awesome. You guys want, don't want to miss any of that. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and do not miss out on any of the stuff we got going on over here. But I think that's it for this time, you guys. You guys have a great 4th of July. And uh, until next time, Golden State Fishing, fish on.